October's training came to you from Little Park and the basic idea of the exercise was to get the horses thinking about moving through the turn and getting the rider to think about where the horse is between the hand and the leg. As you watch these videos, you'll see that we basically got two big circles at each end so and two smaller circles on the sides. So we've got guide rails in to the to bigger circles to help the horse come through the turn and to help the rider pick up the line in which they want to come to. Not that they're cutting the corners and decreasing the circle. The main thing I was trying to get across to the riders here is being able to think about the space in which they're using. So yes, they can be on a big circle and make the most of that space. But more importantly, when they come down into the small circle, be aware of the room that they've got and make the most of it. So if you've got 10 metres, make the most of 10 metres. Don't make it 6 metres because you're more concerned about getting to the fence. And then I've also introduced then the bigger circle after the small one because we've got a ver variety of riders. So what I don't want to do is them to start to decrease the canter and lose the quality of the canter. So we've got one big circle at one end, followed by a small circle, followed by a big circle, followed by a small circle. We use cones to encourage the riders to ride the correct lead through the turns and to use the correct space. And we also use poles up the center line so the riders worked out their areas not to go to cross. Once we've got them confident, we then put the fences up and we also started to add fillers. So here you go, you can see we've added two simple fillers on the diagonal pole just to introduce something different into the exercise and getting the horse to think about where it's going. Once the confidence is really high to finish the exercise off, we've got a good vertical here with the sunshine filler. Then you run down the long side to I've moved both fillers in to make one little wall. So that's the 10 metre circle. Then down the bottom, back onto the 20 metre circle where there's a viaduct wall. So you've got varieties of fillers there. And then to finish it off, back up over the 10 metre circle over a water tray. You can obviously only do this once you've got the confidence fully established and the quality of the canter fully established. So the main objective of the exercises here is, is to one, get the horse bending through its body, working between the hand and the leg, but also getting the riders to think about their space and making the most of their space that they can use.